wow this can you still call this a road i wonder when does something qualify as a road Good morning internet, it is 12 past 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Look where I am, this is Laguna Hey Diondola, I think, in Bolivia. And I woke up to this, the weather is beautiful again, yesterday it rained a lot. And it also snowed because the snow on top there was not there yesterday. Amazing place right, look at all the flamingos. So I just wanted to uh, start the day here with this lovely weather. So I hope that all the rain from yesterday didn't completely destroy the track. Because I have a little bit left today. Um, today I'm riding to Uyuni. Uh, it's a total of 200 kilometers. And the first part is still on the Laguna's route. So it's going to be, I expect it to be horrible. <laughs> uh, and then I should reach some sort of half paved road, but kind of a main road. Um, so that should be easier going. I had an amazing breakfast, really the best ever. Um, and they, they gave me so much food and then they came with pancakes and then they came with uh, scrambled eggs. It was amazing. I already packed uh, the nose, she's all ready to go. So let's go. It's a bit hard to see where the track is. So my my tank was almost uh, empty this morning. So I filled up with uh, an extra can. So that should last me. The next uh, petrol station is 124 kilometers from here. Look at all this water. was a little bit deep. <laughs> Oi. That was super deep. So yeah, welcome to Bolivia in the rainy season. <laughs> this is kind of what I was uh, worried about. Why I tried to wait out the rainy season a little bit in uh, Salta, in Argentina, during my break. Riding in the rain is one thing, but it's mostly what it does to the roads. And you get landslides and road closures and just one big mess, basically. I think I'm gonna go this way because there's a lot of water there. No, I try not to stray off the main road too much because I think it's really bad that everybody is creating tracks. But sometimes you have to if you don't want to get stuck <laughs> in the mud. Oof. I think I'm going on the right side here. Hoopa. This is another lagoon. I think this one is called Laguna Kaila. I think, but I'm not sure. Hola! <laughs> Buenos dias! ¿Cómo está? Bien. Solito. Sí. ¿O tienes acompañante? No, sola. Solito. ¿De dónde vino la laguna? ¿Hm? ¿De dónde viene la laguna? Hoy de la laguna Gerondola. Sí. 
¿A dónde va? Uyuni. ¿De dónde es? ¿En su nacionalidad? Holanda. Soy holandesa. ¿Usted sí de acá? Sí. Por acá. Hay agujita muy chocita. Ah. Peaje. Ok. Hoy ya va a llegar a Uyuni. ¿Escupe? Hoy ya llega a Uyuni. Fue a Uyuni. Después. Después uh, Perú, Ecuador, Colombia. <risa> Gracias. Lo vi mucho. Sí, ayer. El camino difícil. Sí. Gracias, señor. Gracias, adiós. Adios! <laughs> I already heard about this, that you have to pay toll for this road. <laughs> I think it's quite hysterically funny. I had to pay 10 Bolivianos, which is uh, 1 euro 20 or something. For this incredibly great road. Ah, well, a man has got to make a living, right? Look at this. I think this is all from yesterday's rain and the day before, perhaps. Pretty bad. Oh, there's nobody coming. Probably not. Oh, where is the road? Pfft. Oof. Oh, this is pretty bad. Oy, 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 oy. Just going to do a little check what would be the best way for me to go. This looks pretty deep everywhere go here through the mud up here the question is can I can I go back to the road over there probably have to come here this looks all super soft something like that Super slippery. Okay. That was hurdle number one. Now this way. Okay, did that. Oof. Oh wow, this is all washed out. It's 
Whew. This is not easy. I'm still riding at 4,200 meters altitude, by the way. Okay. The other side. Uh oh. With this brown, brown water, you just have no idea what's underneath. Probably nothing, but you just need one rock in the wrong place and there you go. Okay. Up there. Well, yesterday I thought that was the hardest day, but <laughs> I may have to reconsider. Where am I? I think the main road is over there. So, I am pretty close, just have to <laughs> come down this hill. My. Everything is washed out. Hey, I saw... <gasps> oh, that's one of those... Um, what are they called? Uh, Fishaka or something? They are uh, rock rabbits. Ah, uh, there's no way you can, <laughs> you can see it on the GoPro, but I saw it. They, uh, they're super cute and they have a really long tail. So they kind of look like a rabbit, but they're with a long tail. Super cool. I was hoping to see one because I knew they were in this area. Sure. A little bit of this. Wow, this, can you still call this a road? <laughs> I wonder, when does something qualify as a road? Oh, there's another one, see, see? It's two of them. See them? They're right there. <laughs> they kind of jump like uh, mini kangaroos. Oh, they're so awesome. Let me take the bypass. And this is the last puddle. I am at the main road. I'm so happy I made it. That last bit really, pff, I'm not gonna lie, it was not easy. But I did it, I did it. Really nice, now I'm on, okay, it's not asphalt, but it's kind of half paved, uh, pretty compacted. So uh, easy riding, should be easy going from now. Just going to Uyuni. Uh, Uyuni is the kind of the gateway to the Salar de Uyuni, the biggest salt flat in the world. Um, so today I will not ride there, I think I'll do like a day trip or something. But uh, for me today the goal is just to reach uh, Uyuni. This uh, Ruta de las Lagunas is uh, pretty famous or infamous. And uh, I think it all depends on which tracks you take and the weather. Uh, whether it's uh, doable or whether it's really, <laughs> really challenging. And I think, yeah, with the rain uh, made this last bit uh, really, really tough. But. Uh, fantastic riding i mean yeah it's 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 amazing and i i literally have no idea because there's a lot of tour groups like all these four by fours are all tours 
But yeah, there's so many different ways you can take the Ruta de las Lagunas. It sounds like there is just one road, but that's not the case and you can go everywhere. And I, I have no idea where they go. I'm pretty sure they do not take the track that I took. And I mean, I had no idea it was going to be like that. It was not like, oh, I'm going to try the hardest track there is. I just picked what seemed to me be like the most logical route. <laughs> And then, yeah, it turns, turns out to be like this, but you just never know that uh, in the beginning. So anyway, uh, but now I better get my move on because, hey, rainy season. So in the afternoon, it might be uh, raining again. Uh, I already see a lot of clouds coming because um, I, I took forever. I, this was only 25 kilometers. Can you imagine? And uh, it took me, uh, it's now 9.30. So it took me, yeah, more than an hour. I think an hour and 15 minutes or something to travel 25 kilometers. <laughs> so uh, I better get a move on because, um, yeah, I still have uh, 175 to go to Uyuni. So. But first, uh, first stop is going to be the petrol station uh, where I'm going to fill up. That's about 100 kilometers. Uh, fill up there and then ride the last uh, 100 to uh, Uyuni. So let's go. I checked by the way, but there's no uh, people in the car. So I better make sure. I mean, what if that just happened? And the plates were taking out, taken off, so I'm guessing maybe it was a stolen car. Anyway, to a uni! Look how smooth this is! <laughs> town San Cristobal I'm going to try to get some petrol here see petrol and then a motorcyclist all right so I got filled up here and I met Tim right from Germany <laughs> look we have the same uh, same bags Pretty cool, and he is also riding to Uyuni, so we're gonna ride the last bit uh, together. It's still uh, 89 kilometers, and it's just started raining a little bit, so I hope it won't be too bad.
Do you know? Do you know where you're going to stay? Please. Do you know where you're going to stay? I don't know. I will take a look at the overland. I guess. Yeah. Me too. So I have a place to stay. Uh, Tim is also here. This is his uh, bike. KTM 690. See. And uh, I was wondering if you could tell us something about uh, your trip. Where did you start and when and where did you go? I got my bike from San Antonio, which is a little bit down from Santiago. Okay. Yeah, there's a nice paso, which uh, I really can recommend. So and I w then I was going down on the Ruta 40, same as you, I guess. Was it here, Gravels? This was a horrible, oh. horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same for me. When same. I was there, it was super hot and it was gravel and it was not nice. Yeah, same for me. Yeah. So okay. sa same for me. <laughs> yeah. Did all of the Carretera Austral to same Paso as same you here. again through the National Park Paso. Then down same way as you to Porto Natales. Uh, running out of time and needed to go up as fast as possible. Uh -huh. So I started in Porto Natales first. Yeah, oh, even the way back, Ruta 40, yeah. Ruta 40, Ruta 40. Yeah, till Bariloche, oh, and yeah. then from Bariloche in one till Santiago. That was my my thousand k trip. <laughs> you did 1,100 kilometers in one day. <laughs> okay. <that's> yeah. <laughs> then back to Santiago. Um, from Santiago up the Ruta 5 a little bit to. Paso Agua Negra? Yeah, Paso Agua Negra. This you, one. You I, did did the, I did the same. Did same. Yeah. Uh, my fuel range isn't that high. Uh, so I needed to go the upper Paso, it's Paso Yama, yeah. to um, San, Pedro Sa San Pedro de Atacama. Then a little bit through the Atacama to Calma, from Calma up to uh, Alugui. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and then I met you at. Somewhere there. Today, somewhere Some in the station. middle of nowhere at the festival station. So, and Tim did 11,000 kilometers. <laughs> 11,000 kilometers in four weeks. So that's pretty uh, ambitious. I'm impressed. Uh, I tend to do on average about 5,000 kilometers per month. <laughs> so he's done double, uh, double of that. So that's quite. Uh, uh, but I <laughs> have just. Uh, <laughs> I have six just six weeks, six, six weeks, weeks off uh, from my work in, in Germany. So, uh, yeah, I will try to, to reach La Paz and then as fast as possible back to Santiago. But uh, <laughs> I guess uh, that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for showing me your uh, route. No worries. So that was it for today. Uh, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.